A big part of our transformation is, is really engaging the fact that the students are at the centre of what we do. And it's not about what is easiest for the teacher or the traditional ways that we've done things. We've now got to put the student at the centre and really cater to their needs and listen to the voice that they have and, and the direction that you know they love to take their learning and that's best going to engage them. A really big concept of Agile is being responsive. So now we've moved from the approach where you have a year's plan for your units of work and now it's actually the student voice that dictates what happens next, whether it be at the end of a unit or end of a term. So we gather that voice, look at what the students uh, are asking for us in terms of the teaching and the approach and perhaps the context, and then being responsive to that voice, and then the planning happens as, uh, you know, to set up your next unit of work and, and look at the pedagogical approach based on the, the student voice. So we're talking about being responsive. Yeah, good thing about our school is our teachers are real good and they give us a good, like, you bond real well with your teachers, they get to know you, they know your sport, they know, like, what you enjoy, and they make it just real interesting in class. Uh, we know that the teachers listen to our student voice because in Term 2, for example, we're doing lots of mathematics and um, lots of all those other things that we do in STEM, but we weren't doing as much science. So the next term, we did a whole forensic um, evidence and inquiry into a crash scene that we did, which is really, really engaging and cool that the teachers set up. Yeah, I guess we're deliberate in terms of building relationships with our boys and therefore it helps us to take on board the student voice that comes through and make the right adaptations using their agile approach. So um, they're really important for our boys to take ownership of their learning and feel like they can navigate uh, their own path and we're just there to help uh, assist them along the way. Here at St Thomas's, I feel as though we get a lot of opportunities to um, have student voice and I feel like we're really listened to. The way we learn here is not a traditional way of learning. All our work here is connected. Yeah, one of the strategies we use to build those relationships with our students um, comes from, from above. So principal and the senior leadership team right at the start of the year, um, you know, they say leave that curriculum um, till maybe five weeks into the first term and just get to know your boys, do those relationship building um, activities. Um, you know, to build those strong relationships and then the curriculum stuff will be easier um, once we get to know our boys. Yeah, our mentoring system I think is a, is a great strength for us. So we all have, you know, up to 15 to 20 students that we are solely responsible for in terms of pastoral sense. So we really get to know them well and their families well and just kind of assist them in a different way with their educational journey. So our school vision and values are really important for developing the child's well-being and their whole, whole person. Um, you know, educated heart, educated mind, um, basically to me means that it's all about relationships first before they can learn. Uh, and, and that's definitely shines through when you walk around the school. The relationships you have with the boys, teachers aren't up here and the students aren't down there, it's, it's quite even. Um, and that's my favourite thing about the school.